Hey guys, welcome to the iMan experience. Now, for those of you who don't know, the iMan profile on Hypixel Skyblock is very similar to a normal profile, however you can't interact with other players. This means that trading, the auction house, and the bazaar are all disabled, meaning that you have to grind up for all the loot and materials yourself when having to craft any items in the game. Now, to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a Hyperion and a billion coins in the video on the pinned comment, so if you want to check that out after this video, I'd appreciate that, and thank you guys for all the support. Now, this is the first time that I've played on an IMM profile in probably like three or so years, so I'm not really sure what the main goal of it is because, you know, with normal profiles you always have the option of just making more money because that gives you access to more things in the game, however that's not really as viable in Iron Man because you have to obviously grind up everything yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do is make up a little bit of coins from farming so that I can buy a undead sword from the weaponsmith, however I think I first of all need to go and unlock the dwarven mines, so I'm probably going to get to that really quickly. Okay, so the next thing I did was warp to the portal hub. Now, I know the cakes don't really give great stats, however, you know, an additional 5 mining fortune is pretty nice early game, because, like, that's 5% less ores you have to mine up. And I also have unlocked access to the deep caverns, so once I collect all these cakes, I'll be able to go through to the deep caverns, and this will give me, you know, a step closer to unlocking the dwarven mines. Now, I think what I want to do right now is probably go for 3 ores. Um, obviously, the ones I want is redstone lapis and a final one maybe diamonds because it's probably easy since you can get diamond blocks but to ensure that we maximize my efficiency i'm gonna have to unlock an enchantment table so we'll have to do that first okay luckily for me unlocking an enchantment table is pretty easy so i mine up about six diamonds um you only realistically need five but i just get an extra one um, i'm not going to argue with it now the first thing i need to do is come over here and craft myself and a diamond pickaxe so i'm just gonna come to the lumber merchant and buy up two sticks because i'm too lazy to forage for them myself now these two sticks i can make myself a diamond pickaxe and I'm, I'm assuming you guys all know how to make an enchantment table pretty much i'm gonna come over here to the builder and i'm gonna buy myself um probably like four lava buckets which will enable me to make lava on my own island meaning i don't have to return to the dwar to the you know, Obsidian Sanctuary, and have a chance of dying, and probably just, it's probably a little bit more, probably a little bit more, like, reliable to just make it on your island, considering it only costs, like, 100 coins. Now, the next thing I did while I was in the hub was buy a stack of white wool from the Wool Weaver. This will allow me to talk to the Carpenter and unlock Carpentry XP. Now, it's kind of important to unlock this early game, just because pretty much doing anything in the game will unlock Carpentry XP, so you might as well be getting it passively while you're playing, so that you can unlock Quick Crafting, which is just probably one of the best quality of life updates in all of Skyblock. Now, another more important quest to do in the hub is unlocking the Rogue Sword from Jamie. Once again, very simple, all you have to do is talk to him, and this will increase your speed by around 50% early game, which is, you know, it's just like another quality of life fix, which is something I definitely recommend you do. However, I'm sure most of you already have a Rogue Sword unlocked, so I'm sure this isn't really advice you need. Then finally, we need to talk to the librarian, and after going through all of their text, it'll enable me to buy one book and a bunch of enchantment bottles so I can now start enchanting. Now that I've completed my hub errands, I can come over to my island and I can fill up a 4x1 hole full of lava. I can then come to the chest that spawns on your island. Now, I'm not sure if you guys all know about this, but there's a little solid chest that spawns on your island with a few blocks and stuff. Um, I'm not really sure why it's there, but I guess it's just for the original theme of Skyblock before it really just became like an MMO. Now, if I mine up all this obsidian, I'm not going to make you watch it, but this will allow us to craft up an enchantment table. Okay, so I now have crafted up two more bookshelves, which has unlocked fortune for me, and if I splash the final enchantment XP uh, from the bottles I gained, we're going to see that I don't really have enough XP to do much with it. I definitely want efficiency 5 and fortune, so I'm going to go find a little bit more XP, probably from mining up lapis, and will then enchant my pickaxe. Okay, so I just got efficiency 5, which will greatly increase the speed at which I'm mining up lapis with, and I also gained a lapis helmet, which will give 50% more XP, so I should now be able to enchant my pickaxe fully in probably around about 5 minutes. Okay, so I haven't gained enough XP yet, I'm at level 38 out of 45, however I have unlocked the enchanted lapis recipe, which means I'm able to craft up 12 out of the 10 required, so I can now move on to the next ore, which is enchanted redstone. Okay, so I've got the three ores now, and the final thing I'm going to need is getting mining 12. So as everyone should know, the fastest way to do that is with a gold shovel and mining up sand there. So now I've got mining level 12, and I can come over to him. He's going to take my ores, and he will give me access to the dwarven mines. Now, this will be very useful later in the game. However, for now, I think I'm going to probably work towards making a little bit of money and progressing through gear that way. Okay, so the money making method I'm going to be using I've covered extensively and it's basically going to involve me going to PRTL and just swapping between lobbies to try and find a lobby where people are doing arachne crystals. 
Now, if we come over into this lobby, for some reason it was telling me that I couldn't damage the Arachne. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm thinking maybe I have to kill the tier 1 Arachne before I can kill a tier 2. So I'm going to try and get a completion in that and then see if it works. Okay, so as you saw, I just dealt like 100 damage to a tier 1. It didn't work. Um, and it still says this message, so I'm not really sure. I've checked the forums and the wiki and it doesn't tell me what I need. So hopefully I can figure, out, figure it out or else I'm just kind of stuck. Okay, so luckily for me, someone has very kindly told me about how you can unlock Fighting Arachne. Apparently you need Combat 15, so I guess I'm going to go level it up. But trust me, it'll be worth it because you make like 15 mil per hour using this Arachne money making method. And that's as an Iron Man, so it's almost better than farming at max capacity. Okay, so we got the Squire armor now, and I'm just buying this because I'm not really sure what the best early game armor set is for an Iron Man. However, I'm aware that if you put, you know, growth on this, it's pretty strong, and I'm just trying to maximize my health right now so I don't get one tap by Glacier mobs. Okay, so I've just unlocked the end from doing Glacier. Now I have 500 kills, which would mean that I should have dropped one of every single armor piece. However, I actually dropped zero armor pieces in all 500 kills and only got one Glacier Duel. So that's probably like the Iron Man experience really just like simplified right there. However, I do have access to the end now, which means that I can get a lot of experience because I don't think I'm going to be able to one tap Enderman. However, I can mine up the shiny blocks and they should give me a bunch of grand XP bottles, making it easier to grind up clay sites. Okay, so I've enchanted my armor with growth 3 and protection. Now, the average Glacite deals 500 damage per hit. I also dropped an Ender Gauntlet, by the way, which was like an additional 30 health and defense. So right now I have 100 and 1,400 effective health, which means I can survive 2.5 hits. Now that I've reforged my armor, I have 1.9 thousand, meaning that if I do have decent enough regeneration, I should be able to survive around about 5 hits, which is pretty good. Okay, so I finally unlocked my first Glacite piece, which is the boots. Now this is nice, it only took me, you know, 914 kills, which is 9 times the rate that it should have been to get a singular piece. Now, if I do enchant it and stuff, it should be a little bit better than my current armor, so I'm gonna get to doing that. Okay, so we dropped my second piece now, which is the Glacite Helmet, which only took another 100 kills, which is good, but we've now got over a 1000 kills and only dropped 2 pieces, which I'm pretty sure is just an example of Iron Man luck, because this would never happen on a normal profile. Okay, so I just unlocked Combat 15, took me, you know, um, around about 1,700 Glacite kills, and I still didn't drop another piece. I literally only have my Glacite helmet and Glacite boots, which is great. I mean, I dropped, you know, nine Glacite jewels, which is crazy, because they literally have half the chance of an armor piece, but it doesn't matter, um, because I'm going to be getting way better armor pieces from the money-making method, so we'll get into that. Now, obviously, um, you guys should know, it is Arachnes. I did speak about this earlier in the video, and I do have a couple of videos on non Iron Man Arachne grinding, where it is probably about 50% better. You're probably making around about 15 million coins per hour, rather than the 10 million coins you'd be making as an Iron Man, and this is because you can't be selling the Spider Essence to the Bazaar, and that's like a decent amount of money. But you can still be selling the pieces to the NPC, which is around about half the price. Now, the thing about Arachne grinding is you literally only have to hit the mob one time because, well, I guess, uh, depending on the lobby you're in. Now, if you're in a good lobby where, uh, for example, um, right here where I have three people who are really good grinding it, um, it's kind of a perfect lobby to be honest. I can hit it one time and I can still get top five. However, they're still getting the 45 second bosses, which is what you need to get maximum efficiency. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to pick up this loot and we'll go to the end and see how much profit I made. Okay, so currently in the hub, um, I did, I think, around about 8 Arachnes, which with 45 second bosses means it would probably only take about 5 to 6 minutes. So if we come over here and see the profit we got, um, the soul string. Now, I do have videos going in a little bit, way more detail on how much profit Arachne grinding makes, but we're just going to be going over this really simply here. Now, the Arach pieces here, the Arachne boots and stuff, um, A, it's better than the glaze sets that I have right now, but it also sells for 2,000 coins, which is pretty decent since you're probably going to be dropping one to two hundred which is you know like 200 to 400 thousand coins per hour but the item that really has the value is the soul string because that sells for five thousand coins per you get around about 30 per boss that's about 150 thousand coins every 45 seconds um if you add in the armor pieces it's around about you know 160 to 170. you also have dark queen soul pieces um which are a 50 percent chance if you get second place which i don't really think you're going to be getting if you're a newer player but there's a chance like i got a lobby where it was only me and another person so i did get a piece um so yeah you're making around about what 160,000 coins every 45 seconds so you're probably making around about 200,000 coins per minute and you know do the math there that's around about like 
12 mil per hour, which is pretty good, especially for an early game Ironman player. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys check this out because I highly doubt you're gonna be making any more money than this. Okay, so if you guys want a video that goes into a lot more detail on arachne grinding and the drops you get and all that, then it's going to be in the top video in the description. Now, remember there is also a Hyperion and a 1 billion coin giveaway in the pinned comment, so make sure to watch both videos if you're interested because, yeah. Um, anyway, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I already have a kind of like series going on called Combat to Hyperion, I'm sure you guys are aware of it, so... I'm not sure if I'm gonna make another video on this. If this video gets 250 likes, then I'll make a second part. However, I'm mostly focused obviously on my main profile and my Combat Hyperion profile, so I'm not sure if making a third series would really be the best option.